Today we're gonna to be analyzing one of the most extreme cases I've ever seen of men lowering their standards. So we're gonna break down how this Giga Chad went up with a girl who's objectively A2. All right, so I thought I've seen it all, but this is some next level shit. Take a look at this video I randomly stumbled upon on TikTok. I did a little investigative journalism and uh, it turns out these two are married, so this is not some publicity stunt. Let's just address the elephant in the room. There's a massive discrepancy between their sexual market value. The guy is objectively a 9'10", he's got chiseled jaw, good beard, good head of hair, he's jacked, he's tall, no homo, right? The chick is maybe a 2, 3 if you want to be really generous, right? Again, she might be the nicest person ever, she might be the best human being, uh, but physically, yeah, she's not that attractive. And I've seen stuff like this, you know, where the girl is, you know, looking the guy but I've never seen a discrepancy this bad and so when this video came out it actually went semi-viral a lot of people were like what the fuck you know like this makes no sense and there was two types of comments the first was the like SJW yeah girl you're a queen finally a real man who sees you for your inner worth like not all these boys who just care about looks right that type of logic and the other one was like oh this guy must be secretly gay or he has a fat fetish right and uh, the first one is completely wrong. Uh, he might have a fat fetish, I'm not discounting that, but I think there's a more likely option. And there's something I've been talking about for a while, which is the dating marketplace has gotten so bad that a lot of men are just forced to date below their sexual market value because they're just tired. They're tired of going out and like, you know, being rejected. And even a guy this good looking, like even for him, it's not gonna be a cakewalk, especially if he doesn't have game and doesn't know where to look, right? Like if he's not that confident, he's not that assertive, right? Even a guy this good looking might struggle to some extent, right? So believe it or not. So yeah, so I think that's really what's going on. And then basically guys like this, they wind up settling and then backwards rationalizing. And human beings are really, really good at rationalizing everything. Like we can just find excuses for anything. So that's the most likely scenario. But let's take a look at her response video and then we'll go more in depth. My husband going full transition video of me and my husband going from towels to dressed up together. This is not unlike what all kinds of different couples do on this app. My video went viral and I know we all know why. It's because by beauty standards, we don't make sense. The world looks at us and immediately values Scott more than me. So that's not actually true. Uh, that's that's her opinion, but it's not true. When we did the Tinder experiment, we took a guy who's like, you know, Giga Chad, like a perfect male model, as good looking, if not more good looking than him. And he got 140 likes on Tinder in 24 hours. Then we took an obese girl, very similar to her, and she got 500 likes in 24 hours. That means an obese girl gets four times the interest, i.e. is valued four times more by the sexual marketplace than the really good looking guy. So that goes back to the insanely skewed dating marketplace that we live in. And since we don't add up, people try to add things to my side of the equation to make it make sense by saying things like, oh, she must not have been fat when they met, or oh, she's got to be rich. Or they try to decrease his side of the equation by saying things like, he must be gay, or he fetishes fat women. I mean, that is entirely possible. He might fetishize fat women, or he might fetishize fat women a little bit, but he's also has low self-esteem and he's settling because, you know, he's tired of the dating marketplace. We've been made to believe that somebody who is physically fit like Scott could never in a million years be in love with or compatible with a fat woman. And that's solely because the world has literally taught us that we have to value our worth on our bodies. A woman slip so this is the straw man argument I see overweight chicks and SJWs make quite often. It's like, oh, uh, like we, these guys, they only value uh, and society only values looks, right? But I'm going a little deeper. I think there's more to people than looks, right? No one is saying the only thing to a person's value is looks. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that. Yes, of course, there's your character, your personality, your intellect, your humor, all these other factors that make a huge difference, right? But you can't say that looks doesn't matter at all. Looks does play a role. And the vast majority of people, they want someone who's physically attractive in addition to being emotionally attractive. Went into Scott's DMs and said, you should be with somebody who looks like me. She was thin and- that, that is a little bit of a dick move. By beauty standards, a 10 out of 10. Here's the thing though. Me telling myself for the majority of our relationship that I'm not worthy of his love because of my body is the exact same thing as this thin woman telling him that she is worthy of his because of her body. I'm undervaluing myself and she is overvaluing herself. We've both been made to believe that our value lies in our body. 
I get asked this question all the time. Do you get jealous when people hit on your husband? And my answer is always no. Most of the time people are put off by this or confused as to why not. That's because when people typically slide into his DMs, they're leading with their body first. And on the scale of what my husband values, how well my body fits into the beauty standards is not on the top of his list. He values my humor and my commitment and my love and my caring heart. And so you can have every single one of those character traits in addition to the girl being physically attractive. This idea that you have to pick one or the other, you have to pick a girl who has a great personality, great looks, is pure nonsense. Like, let's just use my girlfriend as an example, great personality, and also she's attractive, right? So you don't have to pick one or the other. None of these things that he values about me change if my body changes. So when someone slides into his DMs leading with their body first, he's asking, but what else? Because he, like I, know that People's values don't lie in how well their bodies fit into society's trash beauty standards. And I get it. If this is the way you think, it's the way you've been taught. However, it is your responsibility to unlearn. Okay, so the last 20 seconds is pure SJW propaganda, right? Blaming everything on bullshit society standards. First of all, why bullshit, right? Like it, she's all, basically that's claiming that there's no there's no real value to not being fat, right? No, like there's tangible reasons why you want your partner not to be obese. They're gonna live longer. You can fuck them in more positions, right? There's a whole bunch of reasons why you probably don't want your partner to be obese, right? That's the first thing. But second of all, this is not just some arbitrary beauty standard that makes no sense. This is evolution. Like we've evolved to want partners who are gonna be, you know, like who are physically attractive, who can, you know, get away from a saber-toothed tiger. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you want a person who's not obese. So it's not just some trash societal standard. But going back to the larger point I was making is how bad the dating marketplace is. And guys, subtly, I wanna be clear something. Like, I have props to this chick. Like, she did way better than, you know, most other girls in her shoes would have done. So kudos to her. But to the guy, unless he really, really likes overweight women, which I doubt is the case, uh, like, what the fuck is he doing? Like, why is he selling so bad? And my goal with this channel is that you don't have to be one of those guys. So hopefully you don't have to settle for a girl that you don't actually find attractive. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and show us that you're not gonna wind up with a grossly obese woman by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification, unless you're into that sort of thing. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.